The vault cache location in Epic Games is uh, a little known setting that if you go into the settings bar, you scroll right down to the bottom, is at the bottom here. And essentially the vault cache is like a staging area for download. So it gets a lot of hitting. Think of it like a temporary storage area, temporary files folder for Epic Games itself. And if, as is common on PC setups today, you've got an SSD as your main boot disk with the Epic Games launcher installed on it, then you will, by default, have your vault, ca vault cache location on the same drive as the Epic Games launcher. Now, whilst I recommend installing the Epic Games launcher just for speed and ease on your main SSD, in our case, the C drive, moving this vault cache, which is going to get a lot of hammering, a lot of data written to and from whilst downloaded, it is much more optimal for this to be based on your secondary hard disk drive. So currently it is in C program data, Epic, Epic Games Launcher, and then Vault Cache. So if we move that out of the way a second and we have a look, on our C drive, our Vault Cache on our new install is empty. So before that starts getting hammered and unnecessarily wearing out the SSD, this is something we want on the HDD drive. Now, program data is a hidden folder, so do make sure you've shown hidden folders in your file explorer options in Windows, and then you should be able to access this path. And what you want to do is on your hard disk drive, you want to mirror this folder structure. So we create the program data folder. Don't worry that it's not a hidden folder. That's not a requirement for it to work. And then we want to create folders to match this. So if we go new folder and we type in epic, and double click into it, right click, new folder, Epic Games Launcher, or one word with uh, capitals. And then click a new folder again, the last one, and call it Vault Cache. So as you can see, if we double click into this, we've got exactly the same structure. The only difference is the beginning where it says HDD, which is a hard disk drive on this one and OSC, which is our SSD drive. But apart from that, program data, program data, Epic, Epic, Epic Games Launcher, Epic Games Launcher, Vault Cache, Vault Cache. The last part of this then is to go back to the Epic Games Launcher, bring that back up here. If you have got existing content, it will require a restart. Uh, not sure whether it actually means a restart of the Epic Games Launcher or the whole system, but just to be safe, if you have already got content there, better to restart the whole system. And if you then click on the browse, oh, sorry, we could click on the browse button, but one of the benefits of mirroring the folder structure is that we can simply go here and we can just change this to the new drive letter. So D colon backslash program data, Epic, Epic Games Launcher, Vault Cache. And we can check that that matches this here. So if you single click on the address bar, reveal the full address, D colon, don't worry that the slash is the way around. Program data, Epic, Epic Games Launcher, Vault Cache. So once we've done that, we're ready to click Apply on here. And that's it. The Vault Cache location has changed. Everything will now save to the hard drive for that temporary staging area rather than your SSD drive. So that's it. We can click back. We're back into our Epic Games Launcher. And that is all we have to do there. All sorted and you are ready to download and install any of the games that you have or search for something new. Hope that helps. Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like the video. See you later.